It's better to sink in the cum than to come in the sink. What? Yes. <laughs> something, something, there's something, there's something, something, there's something. There's something, there's something, there's something. Hi, everybody. Hey. I don't know what the hell that was, but hello. Welcome to the Internet Cafe S Season 2. Because it's a new year. That's how we're going to separate these. Yeah. Woo. Season 2, Episode 1, 3899. I don't know. Just so you guys know, we're going to be bringing you old types of new content, too, you know? Are we? Yeah, we are. Whoa. Whoa. What, 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 such as what? Like, give me a peek. I want to know. So, for starters, hope yeah. we're going to be trying to implement more in-person interviews in our podcast. Yeah. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. We're going to try doing that. I'm going to do a show not to Huh? 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 We're gonna bring the show to the people. Yeah. Like yeah, like chat relate relate. Chat chat bait. Chatter bait. Yeah, chatter bait. Are we allowed to like take our clothes off? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> no, right? Okay. <laughs> nah bro, we are not premium content only, bro. We're also gonna try to bring you guys a uh a movie night kind of thing, you know? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you mean you? What do you mean you? That was me. Well, it was Doka's idea, but you we're gonna. Fix that right I said now. we. What the hell? Anyways. No, there's no we. There's no we in this. I don't know if, how we're gonna you. do it. If it's gonna be like a we. compilation kind of thing, it's gonna be a live stream. That's to be decided. But at the moment, just know that's something that's gonna be worked on. Yeah, movie night with Doka. Only Doka. Nah, night, whatever. You know, let's call it that. I like that idea. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, yeah, it was my idea. Cause I have my own idea for something I want to do. So. Oh yeah. Oh, never mind. I'm not That's... taking my clothes off. I'm good. Elson's the only person without his own idea, cause he's a piece of shit. What? Whoa. I literally told you the last thing we did was random rambles. It's like Maybe shorter. We couldn't have that idea. That idea was been around for a minute. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, no, yeah. Let's get I'll, into the I'll abuse you later. Let's, What's let's the cup of the day, Doris? DoorDash. What's the cup of the day, DoorDash? Who's DoorDash? Uh, Royal tea, bro. It's you gotta Doka. get that milk. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, milk tea? Like boba tea? Yeah, bro. Nah, you didn't see that picture? No. Ah, damn. I didn't. I didn't send it to you. Yeah, I got it right here, bro. Got a real I drink? A vanilla ice cream, regular milk tea... You gotta get it cold, bro. Twenty two dollars, <laughs> dude. You live in New York. You wanna insert that into the? No, maybe, maybe so. Anyway, I sent him a picture, and uh, it was just joshing. You know, I was just joking, but that'd be pretty funny. That'd be pretty funny. Joshing? Who's Josh? Doka, uh, uh, Drake. Anyway, uh, do you have a cup of the day, Mister uh, Doka wow, Bay? You already said it. It's only one cup. That was a fake one, bro. Why are you lying to me, then? <sighs> yes or no? You lied to us. A waste of time. A waste of space. Yeah, I don't have no, a cup. Maybe so. I don't oh, have a you cup. Don't. Oh, I don't damn. Have a cup. We've been well, recording nonstop. Old. You can't you know, take a drink, right? Like... <laughs> what? No, you can't go to no. Starbucks, boy. Like, come on. You know this is the only huh? thing we depend on you for, it. Right? Huh? How about you? How about you come take me to Starbucks? How about that? I'm not. Maybe hey, I will. Maybe. One. Take okay. me out. Do I have to? Anyway, I guess there is no cup of the day. That's fine. It's milk tea. No drink, drink boba milk tea with lemonade bu bubbles how how's about that how about that that sounds that, disgusting that's... it probably <laughs> is and i don't care gross anyways <laughs> let's go right into the news no no copyright copyright i don't think he has that face copyrighted i don't want to take that chance all right I, I apologize i'm just gonna redact that entire sentence but anyways, i hope not we're supposed to have a guest here today, but he he flaked. I want, and I know you listen to these, so I want you to know you flaked, you flaked, flaking, flaker, yeah, flake, 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 getting flake, mad, flake, flake, flake. Getting Par, mad. Par evil flaked on us. That's his. That's his name. Par evil. Now everybody knows. Yeah. What Omari? What? What? That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing Omari right. 
Did you flake on us, bro? How about you shut the hell up? Do you have a topic? Alright, what's your topic, bro? Do you have what's a topic, Kelsey? Right? I know. Do you have anything? You well, want I mean, to I was discuss? gonna let you take the take the charge for the, for the anybody? Is anything you want to discuss really quickly? Huh? Anything fast? Anything slow? Anything fast? I mean, nah, I'm alright. Doka, thoughts? Yeah, I want to discuss uh. Houston's fat ass, man. Okay, like, it's so gone like amazingly. Today's big. topic, like, it's nice and firm. Today's topic like, is like kind of fat ass <laughs> today's topic is toxic femininity. Yeah, but we don't have any females. Wow, fuck it. Do females wait? No, wait, no, but then you come out as a female. He came out as a female yeah. on our last podcast. Like a physical, yo, I don't know what you guys are on about. No. <laughs> Uh, you gotta show me some proof. I'm gonna put it right here. You're right here. Take You're too lazy. Right you never here. do it. Watch, I'm gonna do it. This time I'm gonna do it. Just cause you said that. I have I have time this time, you know that right. <laughs> oh, but when I actually put in a fucking meme. <sighs> any me any memes you ask me to put in, I'll do it in this one. I promise. Pinky sweet. You don't even no. have a pinky. Anyways, How would you know? One, <laughs> three. We're here, we're here. We we hear ya. Sanju, Mr. Uh, Omari. Hmm. Anyways. What? Speak. Shut up. Alright, so what does toxic femininity mean to you guys? What do you think that is? I would like Helsing to go first. To I would like Joker to go first. I'd like... That's... I don't have an opinion because I need to form an opinion based off my co-workers. I mean co host opinion, bro. Co-workers. co-workers we don't work together so yeah i'm the boss you're co-workers so you know. anyway yes so i'm, I'm a mindless i don't i don't know what it means you know you don't know what and it that's means. okay i don't know and that's okay can you enlighten me all right what about you uh what's his name again what is my name oh okay i forgot doesn't it start with the I mean, uh... Yeah, Doka. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Doka, what, what, is, what do you think? I think that uh, the word toxic femininity means... You mean femininity? The quality. Nah, the concept of uh, toxic... I think it's like the, it's just like the, like the concept of toxic masculinity, you know? Using your female existence to uh, just have, I don't know, some sense of like normal, like cultural norms. Like, I don't know. Dude, well, I don't close. have anything. To, I don't have anything to say, but I don't have anything up, to do with it. I don't know. Shut up, shut up. I don't You're know, close. Man. You're pretty close. All right. So, yeah, the definition that I see most people agreeing on, because it's kind of like one of those new concepts. It seems to be around the idea of a female or females or people taking the f- traditional feminine gender role in society and using it to basically their advantage in almost every possible way. Lucky bastards. <laughs> oh no. Sort of like that more feminine attributes like empathy and passion and patience and tenderness and sort of just turning that around and using it for their own you know so what you're saying is if i was a female yeah if hypothetically if Uh, even though you came out as one yeah if and richard was a naughty boy right i don't know why he said naughty i'll finish that all right now (laughs) hypothetically if i was a female and all I had to do was put some makeup on, clean the dishes, and do that other typical standard normalcy. I'm doing quint- quotation marks in the area, mm-hmm. even though you can't see a viewer. Uh, things that are uh, that a woman should do. I'm still doing the quotation marks. Uh, I don't believe this. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, that's all I gotta do, and I get my way. I'm not like that. Oh, then, uh, then I think I lost the concept. Then, try again. Kind of like, all right. Let's say, for example, the girls that go. Let's say a girl gets all dolled up, goes to a club, 
with her intentions being, I'm going to get guys to buy me drinks so I can drink for free. And not, you know, not really plan on doing anything beyond just using them for monetary gain or, you know, an actual gain in some way like that, like getting something from a nigga for free or a guy from free. That is an example of toxic femininity, at least from what I can see. Okay. So it's kind of like that. That's basically what it is. Hey, it's the fool's, it's the fool's, like, <laughs> it's the fool's fault, bro. Like, no one told you to buy that drink for that chick. <laughs> um, sorry. I mean, but it's not just that area, but it's also, you know, stuff like that. Okay. So are you going to uh, kind of elaborate? I mean, I guess I'm still lost. Kind of. Uh... Yeah, I, the, what I can take from it is like the concept of being a female, literally using your female charms to get which get your way. That's that was my definition. Oh, okay. okay. Um, right. I feel like getting your way just by being a female or using your feminine looks, your fe- uh, your femininity. Is that what you're going for? Oh, it's one of the ideas, but it's. That's one of the right. main aspects. Give me another of it. one. Then give me another one, please. Right. So Let's I'm gonna try. I'm gonna longer. give you a different definition, and then I'm gonna me... list some examples for you guys. All right. Definition or example? I'm gonna do definition then example. Okay, go for it. So it's a social science term that describes narrow, repressive types of ideas about the female gender role that defines femininity as exaggerated feminine traits like being sensitive, emotional, and having a perfect appearance, and so on. For, and then some examples would be putting your hands on abusing mentally or physically a male and playing the woman card out of getting either hit back or trouble for it. Body shaming against men or women due to height or any sexual rep- reproductive organs and weight. Another one would be giving people sex or affection in return for money. Another thing would be protor- prioritizing your life i mean your opinion sorry your appearance over your own life or well in an aspect of your life and sort of just that extreme jealousy towards other women when you feel like you aren't the center of attention it's a big spe- spectrum so it's a shit. big concept of just being a feminine a typical quote-unquote typical <laughs> uh female i don't think but the thing is i don't think that's a typical female thing to do i just think that Really? You? The toxic one? Whoa. Yeah. You say that because your girlfriend near you or what was, 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 she has whoa, you on the leash or whoa, something? Whoa, whoa, I'm too toxic to have a girlfriend, right? Like, you shut the fuck up, boy. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh my god. I can't let no female hold me down. What the fuck? Well, that's why we have Richard for. Yeah, that's my bottom bitch. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I don't hear what he said. Okay, never mind. I didn't hear what you said either, Allison. Sorry. Did you? I did not. I did no trolling. No trolling. Well, that's fine. Even better. Mm. I'm not going to repeat it. All right, so what about the topic? Mm. Now, now that we defined it, what, what is the discussion we're going towards? Where are we going? Where are we going with this? All right, so... Um, let's think about some quick bullshit. What is, so after getting the definition, is there any examples that you guys can think of in terms of that? Uh, example. Yeah. What's up, yeah? I got you. I got you. Uh, so you, you and your shorty arguing, right? Mm-hmm. She hits you. Yeah. You attempt to hit her back, yeah. but then she's like, "Hey, whoa, whoa, you can't do that. I'm a girl. What the fuck is wrong with you?" I mean, it sounds like you're spot on. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Am I? Right. Am I on track? Am I off track? Yeah, are, are we? Am I? Was that a good example? It was pretty. It was okay. Pretty, right. pretty standard. Pretty standard. Pretty uh-huh. standard. Lacked I could do. I could do better. Okay. You uh, could have done better. Uh, how about you, right. Helsing? How about you go? What he thinks? Didn't I? Uh, all right. So for the uh, people who don't know, on the Instagram, right? Do you have it uh, with you? You took any screenshots? I believe I gave you an answer. I just oh. can't remember at the moment. Let me see. 
I also did forget we actually went on our Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. That people were reacting to some of our questions, which is something else we're gonna start doing this year. We're gonna start asking you guys questions and putting. Wait a minute! I answered. Answer. You didn't like reply. You didn't reply to me. That's crazy. Why would I reply to you? I literally wrote my opinion. All right. <clears throat> the question was: What are some examples of toxic femininity? Doka Bay's response was Richard. AKA wow. House So wow. I don't know what you wanted me to say to you. Uh, why would he respond to that? Okay. <laughs> uh, he just did. That's all I needed. That's all I wanted. That's all I craved. Okay. So, uh, mm-hmm. do you see my response here? It says, suck me. <laughs> <laughs> That's that can't be right. That that can't be right. <laughs> it literally says that. I don't right? know what you want me to say. Dude, we are far. We are like far away from the topic. What is going on? Anyways, That's back insane. on to the topic. Before I get into like this more questionary things that I had on the Instagram, follow us on Instagram. Uh, the thing was that. What are some forms of double standards that you see? happen in terms of women or double standards that women have i mean i know we discussed it before like a long long time ago i dead don't recall but let's oh, go I know. Oh, i'm about to tell you, you know i'm about to tell you let me speak bro let me speak I'm sorry king i'm sorry no oh my god you keep going bro you're gonna get it bro you're gonna get it after this anyway when we talked about how women would just come out and be like hey i was you know sexually assaulted you know stuff like that i feel like that's like a lot a lot of more people would believe that for a woman rather than a guy you know so Ah. i feel like there's a double standard there because i don't know for me like not anymore but i guess before you know if a guy would bring that up and be like well you sure bro you know and then you have other people, you know, I've, I've been seeing that online where it's like, oh, you sure you didn't want it, bro? You know, I know you wanted it, bro. Like, oh, you tripping, bro? You know, stuff like that. Or they call you like gay or something like that. If you were like, you're like, oh, but you're oh, yeah. a free coon. Why are you acting like that? Why are you being so, such a such a gay guy about it? You know, the, the derogatory term for homosexuals, that's what I say, is how most people would react and say that. But you're right. It's crazy. But that is a, one of the double standards I had listed here. Sexual harassment. It's very common for women to kind of have this. What's the word I'm looking for? This idea that they can get away with shit. Simply because they're a woman. In terms of like sexually harassing a guy. For example. I don't know if you guys remember this. Because I don't know if I saw this. Yeah, but I might put a clip here. If I'm not too lazy. Hey. But there was a dude that was interviewing people on, I believe it's South Beach, which is like some beach in LA, whatever. But he's interviewing a couple of women, asking them, hey, how would you feel if you got home, you know, and you want to have sex with your boyfriend or your, your nigga? And he said, nah, I'm not in the mood. Literally, I don't know if they like cherry pick the responses, but there was at least five different females there going oh yeah i'm taking it he don't get to say no oh no when i want it i get it like it was and girls going like one way or the other i'm gonna get it and i was just like wow like that is literally you know the r word and it's crazy i it's just ridiculous that we have to sit here and pretend that that's okay and i do understand socially or average a woman is stronger than a male but like i mean a man is stronger than a woman at, on average physically so it's so it would seem that it'd be harder for a guy to get raped but like there's a lot of things that could happen to a guy or you know or a woman like it doesn't matter which your idea is perceived as but when somebody gets assaulted or treated a certain way like we should take it seriously regardless yeah, how do you guys feel about that that quick little example I gave you about how all those girls are phrasing it and talking about it? Doka, thoughts? I don't have thoughts. Okay. Sounds about right. <laughs> what about you, Hosea? Your opinion, Doka. Your opinion. Doka, <laughs> please. Please, Doka, we crave your Taste opinion. Some. Taste 
Shit, I don't really have an opinion on this topic. I he's playing Valorant. That's what I don't. F- no, I'm not. I'm not playing anything. You can clearly see I'm not playing anything. Uh, just I don't really have an opinion on the matter. I don't really. I don't. I, don't, I want to say I don't see or experience that with my own girlfriend or the female like community like that I interact with. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like with friends. They you interact. Yeah, when I, I interact with Halston all the time, he doesn't act like that. You know, he mans up and... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> nah, but uh, seriously. Um, I don't typically... I feel like uh, in terms of like me, myself, I don't surround myself around people who are like that. I feel like to like to explore people you, who are more outside it and... Just because you don't surround yourself with those people doesn't mean you wouldn't have an opinion about it. I don't have an opinion with about it because I don't interact with people like that. I just, I just so don't. what you just after hearing everything I said, you're just like, yeah, I don't care. Like that's it. That's how you you feel. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? It's like it's, it's the same as oh, well, how do I say? I can't relate to it. I just can't. Uh, I don't have an opinion on the matter. That's why it would have been better to have a female. Uh, I don't know guest uh, here so I could bully them. With my toxic my ex- my ex- my ex- my ex- my 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 that's all folks. That's all folks. Alright, what about you, Hosin? Do you have an opinion about what I said? Um Yeah, sure, why not, you know? Uh you have an opinion? You no, can have an opinion? I have, thoughts. I have thoughts. Do you have thoughts? I knew it. <laughs> You're too much, bro. But yeah, uh so there i know i always read about it at least but you know anybody could just get like something like a pill or something like slipped into their drink and like it doesn't matter if you're physically stronger bro like if it's a sedative and stuff like it's lights out bro so yeah people could take advantage of you like uh women you know anybody really but um i think it is unfair right you know there's always like this double standard but there's not much at least I feel like there's not much that we could do to change it, you know, to, I don't know, to make it fair. Because you, you I don't like know what hmm? You feel like it's unfair? You think it needs to be changed? I, uh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt uh, for change. I think there's always going to be room for improvement all around in any area. So why, why do you think that it needs to be changed? Oh, now you want to talk, right, bro? Yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to understand, bro. I'm just trying to understand. Sure. I'm not trying to be understood. I'm trying to understand. Ah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what do you mean? So it, it, it sounds like you're saying is that it needs to be changed or that you want it to change. Like Amari, that's exactly like Omari was saying, you know, the same thing. It's more like if there is an change, like how will it get better? You know, like, cause I don't know when Omari saw that video, right? About like those girls or whatever saying that, you know, man doesn't have a a say in the matter. You know, I don't know if they were being sarcastic or not. Like, were they? Did no. it sound like they were being no, sarcastic? No, they were just more playful or they were they joking were all, they were or they were more serious. They were all dead ass. I can actually give you a different one too. So there's a period of time where guys are going around on TikTok going, hey, I'll, I'll ask you the questions basically to show you so the guy will go hey to his girlfriend or a female and go hey so if you got really drunk and then a guy took you back to his crib and then you know had sex with you what is that right and then the girls would usually respond with the answer rape right or okay you know so then the guy in the situation he would then ask what if I got drunk at a place and a girl took me back to her home and then had sex with me. What is that? And there's only one one video that comes to mind, but it did happen a couple times. And the girl responded with, it's cheating, you know? And the guy was like, how is that cheating? And she was like, well, you shouldn't have gotten drunk and you shouldn't have went anywhere with no bits. And then he was like, but I'm drunk. And she was like, but you shouldn't have done it. And then the guy responded, so then how is that different from what I told you? And then she stared at him and I said, wait, 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 say it again. And I was just like, and then that's, that's how the video ends. But that's just to show you, like, that's another double standard. 
women seem i wouldn't say women but society seems to have this sort of mentality that if a woman it's the same thing that happens to a woman if it happens to men it has different meanings in a way and it just doesn't the math ain't math i don't know it doesn't add up it shouldn't even be like this to be honest with you i mean so how, do, how do you feel about that actually Doka, do you want to go first? I mean, I don't want to. I've got a feeling. I have no yeah. idea what he's about to say. And I'm scared. That tonight. That tonight's gonna be okay. Yeah, that exact with the same thought. Dude. Yeah, that's the same thought. Ah, uh, clap it up, bro. No, 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 no. Nah, you, you, already, you already shook my hand. Oh, all right. Your opinion? No. My opinion? Um, obviously that's pretty fucked. Like that whole conversation is pretty scuffed. Um. But again, that's her opinion, you know. Um, honestly, I wouldn't put myself in that situation. Unless I personally, like, I'm going, like, I'm dating you. Like, if it's like a date, I'm not taking you to my house. I'm not going to your house either. I'm, t- I'm dropping you off. And that's it. There, there will be no sex involved. Like, that's not a... Like, that's just not a situation I would like to put myself in. Like... You hear it, like, when you're going to high school, like, you're making that transition from high school to college, transition from high school to college, that, uh, be careful. Take care of yourself when you're drunk. Make, uh, look at your drink so you don't get droopy, so you don't, like, put yourself in these, uh, situations. So you wouldn't be accused of, of raping someone or being raped, you know? It's to protect yourself in, like, both ways. Uh, obviously, as you're, like, getting older, you're an adult. You're, you're past that, uh, that stage at least you'd like to believe you are um i think it's okay to have boundaries and make sure you are still protected and careful um but yeah overall the conversation's pretty scuffed i don't think that uh she was right to say like like i don't feel like it was right to say that well, obviously it's her opinion like it's, it's whatever i think the main thing when it comes to how she said it or her saying it it wasn't the fact that it's her opinion or anything like that. It's the fact that her instinct was to say that. That's what I feel like is the problem. Not really the the opinion of it, the instinct of it. Sort of just the initial reaction is immediately going, it, he cheated on me, not, or oh, my boyfriend got taken advantage of. That's where I find a problem in that. And that's what I think is a little bit of toxic femininity. Sort of just... Uh, where's the cheating come from? I didn't, I think I missed. I must have missed something. Houston, did I miss something? You definitely. Did. No. Um. I mean, yeah, maybe if you dozed off, but Basically. the cheating aspect is just, yeah, like from her maybe previous like thoughts about the uh, situation. Like, you know, we're all grow. Uh, we're all growing up with this technology and stuff, and like people misinforming us, people informing us, you know, stuff like that. So. I'm pretty sure along the way, like something like that. I don't know if she got used to something like that, you know, being told to her or like shown to her, you know, stuff like that. Um, I think it's probably the way she was brought up, you know. So that's like a different thing. But as far as like Omar, he didn't mention anything else about it. I don't know. Anyways. I said wow. that the girl's initial reaction when the boyfriend brought up the fact that if a, he got really drunk and a girl brought her back to her house and then had sex with him, she, initi- she said that was cheating without even thinking twice about it. However, when the boyfriend asked her, if you got really drunk and a guy took you back to his crib and then had sex with you, what would that be? She said rape. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You understand the thing. I understand it, Drew. Okay. That's it. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> okay. Can we? Uh, is there another topic? Going to continue with this topic? Um, I feel like I feel like I suck you dry out of your energy. Yeah, it, it, I don't even. I don't uh, think I you want to be here, man. I, I suck you dry. I suck you dry, bro. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's what I do. It's what I do. I know. 
Like it's all you need. How do you want to talk about this? You both suck. Wow. Nice to wanna... Huh? Huh? What are we sucking exactly? Me. You're sucking the joy out of me. Do you find no. females to be emotionally draining? Somewhat. Why is that? Because is it from birth experience or? I mean, from experience. I find that, I guess the best way to put it, literally, is that, I don't know if it's, I don't, I, I guess it might come off sexist, but every time I've spoken to a female about certain things or certain topics, there's always a double standard there. I've always had a double standard when I've spoken to uh, most people, most females about shit. There's a double standard there. And about like almost everything. For example, uh, I was friends with this one person like a couple years ago, and I was dating a girl at the time. She asked me straight up. She was like, "Hey, you know, I like you," and I was like, "Oh, well, I liked you too, but you know, you didn't say anything when I asked you out." She then stared at me and told me, "I ain't shit because I was dating another girl." Because I told her, "You know, I'm dating somebody now." You didn't say anything. You left me out to dry. You did not, you know, text me, hit me up, anything. It's called me a piece of shit. Called me a womanizer. Called me an asshole. But I asked the bitch out like a month ago before the fucking. I even started dating the other girl. So that's not even like just that. But that's just an example. I've, I've seen. I've had girls like get upset if I mention shit to them in terms of like past relationships, but would love to bring up their own past relationships and act like shit was dandy like this double standards i find everybody i find you emotionally draining actually on top of that so you you suck you fucking bitch what the uh, fuck did this just turn into bro i i know right yeah, yeah, it's like, he's man this, better this podcast turned into like <laughs> fucking psychology i send you right now <laughs> Fuck you. Damn, who's blaming you, bro? It's all, it's all your fault. How about you? Like, how about you guys run a podcast with two assholes, two Spanish assholes? How about that? What? The fuck? Wow. And now, yo, what does this have to do with us being Spanish, bro? Yo. Like, you have an agenda against us, don't you? you I've you always are. had an agenda against you, bro. I, I, That's I, true. I thought we spoke about this. I don't like Spanish. <laughs> hey, let me stop. Oh, <laughs> yo, cut it out, bro. Cut it out, bro. They're gonna cancel you again. That's going oh, in the montage. I love it. Maybe. I actually have a question. So, no, you didn't answer my question, though. Do you find females emotionally draining? I, yes, I find I almost all no, females not you. emotionally draining. No. I hate them. No. I am a toxic no, you, man. No, I hate women. I hate all I can, women. The other I, you. Not we hashtag know. We fuck know. all women. We know. We oh, know. God. I promise. Yeah. We know. Let's get we that know. trending. Okay. Hashtag fuck women. Oh, my oh, God. Fuck <laughs> women. <laughs> yeah. Halston, what do you think? Uh, okay so from my experience yes right uh i feel like it's not just women but it has been mainly women like in terms of like relationships anyway not any general women uh just their demands you know like i guess you could like try to come to a compromise with it but yeah. It's like, oh hey, like when are we gonna do this? Uh, can I get this? this? Oh yeah, remember when you said, oh we're gonna do this? Uh, can we do this now? You know, stuff like that. Like a lot of demanding things, mm-hmm. just tends to drain like anybody. At least I would imagine it would. So it's just okay. Like how long am I gonna put myself through? You know, something like that. It kind of sucks, you know. Uh, literally so um <laughs> it's uh it's pretty crazy bro well, so when you that, that reminds me bro when are you gonna take me out bro you promised me that we were gonna see spider-man no way home you're gonna buy me food you drive me home like, a quick story bro you know a quick story so i went to uh this museum right with this one female right? what <laughs> you completely then, ignored hold on, hold on. It's, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna yeah, just let me finish story time now go ahead right, real quick, real quick. 
whatever after the museum right she's like oh where are we going to eat and i'm like what you mean like nothing was said you know like i thought we were just gonna go home you know like you know whatever <laughs> she was like oh but you know we always go to a restaurant after and i'm like not this time bro not this time but it was just funny to me that you know she She's would say something you. like that like don't worry right? you think that's you think that's yeah, toxic bro. Oh. Huh? yeah bro is it c or is it g g bro <laughs> oh yeah i remember that day what a beautiful day for me but do you think that's bro. toxic femininity bro is it toxic is that toxic is it the expectation that she's gonna get a meal along with your day? after yeah yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you running my pocket dry what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> well you're the man bro you are the man bro <laughs> yes but even you that, asked me out even that's crazy <laughs> Yo, I've actually that reminds me. What do y'all guys think about the idea of, uh, of like when you ask a? I heard girls, well not girls. But I heard somebody say, "Hey, if you ask me out, you have to pay." And I was like, "Oh the fuck!" <laughs> and then the nigga was like, "Wait, why don't you know we split the bill on the first date? You know, to minimize risk of both parties. If you don't like me, hey, at least you know." we paid for the food type shit like we didn't go overboard we didn't somebody didn't pay more out of pocket than the other person and then the girl said I mean, you know she, said the, she just said that she said what i said at the beginning you ask me out uh, you pay for the day and i was like that's bullshit <laughs> i don't want to put it like that sure but there is a, a saying at least amongst like most hispanics where it's like if you are inviting somebody like that does mean like you tend to have to pay Unless you address something beforehand. Right? I, but the way that she went about it, that's like, that's different. See, the thing is, like, I don't mind the idea of paying for, like, you know, a person's dinner. Don't get me wrong. If I like you and I'm vibing with you and I want to see you again, I'll pay for everything off rip. And if I don't like you, if I'm not vibing, I, I want you to whip out your pocketbook and go, all right, here's he half like the fucking bill. Oh, you don't like me. Okay. So why do you need to tell her, yo, I don't fucking vibe with you, huh? You feel scared to tell her, huh? It's not. E it's not even just that. It's my the idea of getting offered that would mean a lot, especially nowadays. Because then, to me, that shows me the mentality that you want to grow with me as a person. You want to work with me as a person. You don't want to get the. You don't want to. You're not like gonna be a parasite in my life. You're gonna be like this sort of support system in my life. If you ever. If I'm going on a date with a girl, mm -hmm. she offers to pay for half the food, or even offers to pay for all of it. I would love that shit, because at least you're showing me that you have a a good mentality of growth and, like, of support. You're not showing me that, like, you know, to you, I don't know. I can't fuck with traditional values. I don't like that idea. Especially nowadays. So have you seen you the housing take, market? Uh, an eye out. I'm not taking you guys out. You suck. What I used to wall out. That's crazy. Yeah. How about how, bro, 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 At a hundred subscribers, I'm getting my fucking legs waxed, right? Right. I'll take you out then. We'll we'll have a little vlog thing, and then you'll get food, huh? Dinner and a and a sex. How's and as that? long as you're paying, right? Like as long, as, long as you're inviting me, right? Not, no McDonald's. Nice try, you slick bitch. All right, Burger King then. Ah, uh, no take backs. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> But I was, uh, my question that I never got to, you know, ask, uh, you ask or do you ask? guys, ask, I said, ask, ask, I said, ask, not ask, 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 oh my God, <laughs> I'm going to strangle you after this, bro. So what you do you guys think that women or men, oh, rather, which one is more, uh, better, tends to be more better, women or men? And, and in why? terms of relationships or in terms of like overall? I'm gonna say relationships, you know, to keep it uh Men. simple. Men. Okay, well, why is that? You think in terms of relationship? In terms of relationship, I'll say yeah, however you want to take it, man. I'm not however, gonna. How, how, uh, no, no, I go first. first. I go yeah, first. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, you're the see, captain now. I'm not. the. I'm the captain now. No, you're not. <laughs> Edit the video. How's how's that? Then you can look be the me. captain. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain. Edit the video and you can be the captain. <laughs> okay. Anyway. That's what I think. Uh, I think men are more better, bro. We have our feelings, our emotions. We never even speak about it, you know? Sure. Or at least how I would. I would never speak about it. I'll just hold it in. And you know what? 
Yeah. I'll die with those feelings. That's it. Lit. That's how bitter I am. Takes the grave with me. Nah, I'm not, that's OD pity. <laughs> As I said, man, I feel like men are bitter, you know? I think that the typical standard for men is that we uh, keep it inside. Uh, and our relief is through alcohol, drugs, so on and so forth, or mm-hmm. entertainment. Yeah. And uh, we keep it in until we die. Keep it in until we die. Yeah, it's like a, it's like an uncuttable sweater. Wow. You wear it forever and uh, ever. No, I disagree with that, and I hate that idea. But, but you are right, though. Hmm? Why can't it be females? What? What, what did he say? What did I he said, say? Why can't I take off the sweater? What? Never mind. Anyways, let me talk down. Thanks. So let me. See. Look, he was waiting. He always want to speak. Look at him. Go, 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 go for it. Go for it. Go ahead. Go. Anyways, go, go. go. I do. Go, go I little rock. I agree with Doka. So I thought it's the fuck down. But not in the same way. I do think no, that like it's the fuck down. I do no, think niggas. I was right. That's I all think, I need to hear. I think. I think. I think. I think, I think, I think guys are more likely to hang on to their feelings because they don't have any real good outlets for it or like good ways to express themselves so a guy is more likely to kind of just internalize any pain he felt during a relationship or after a breakup however i will say this in terms of like breaking up in that moment a girl is going to fucking destroy you if like (laughs) actually no a girl is going to destroy you period a guy guys are more likely to just block a girl and move on go about it a girl will sit there and tell you she don't love you write you a paragraph about how she hates you send the other the new nigga after you you know lie to you <laughs> it's fucking different you sound like really it's different experience, experience, all right yeah, oh wow oh, all of this experience i'll have tears run, rolling down my face right now as we talk damn Paul. you need a kiss not from you from doka though oh uh don't you have your shorty right there beside you? <laughs> bro, I already told you I'm too toxic for women, bro. They can't. Oh, but that, oh, it's all about the men. I see. It's okay, oh, I bro. love I men. It. <clears throat> so yeah, continue. <laughs> Anything? Oh, shit, yo. I love you, man. That's I all I got. Too, I, love you, I love that movie. I love you, man. All right, how about, this? how about 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 this? What do you think, Helson? Who which one is more bitter, women or men? In terms of breakups, because I don't know, I answered it like that. So fuck it. Honestly, after listening to both of you guys, I honestly think uh, it's actually women. You know, I'm not just saying it, you know, to play devil's advocate or anything, but I generally do think it's women. The uh, the amount from experience, right? Mm. The amount of shit that would happen after a breakup is like, yo, bro, like. Why are you still on my meat, bro? Like you mad better right now, bro. Like that's it, bro. We're not together. Why are you still why are you still hung up on me, bro? I feel it's just uh I don't know, man. I don't know, like I don't even... You know people like to get the laugh, right? So it's like Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's even good. beyond like relationships, it's like always friendships, like there would be um a right, perfect example, right? This friendship is over, like that's it. Like whatever like i'm not responding mm-hmm. and then they keep <laughs> texting me <laughs> they send me long paragraphs through every social media possible bro. and i'm like bro why why is that even why bro why waste your time like that's it like you had the last word and you still keep going so it just proves that at least for me that woman i'm more uh more bitter. Bitter. I'm not gonna lie, it, it is very likely to see a girl kind of like harass a guy continuously like, yo, acknowledge me and accept my anger so that I can feel, you know, I can let it go. I've seen that happen a lot. I've heard it happen a lot. It's crazy. It's kind of cool. Kind of funny. Yeah. Anyways, next question. Hey, can't do nothing about it. Gotta live with it. Like if I was okay. to break up with a girl... Or cheat on her she's going to go to the i'm not gonna most girls are gonna go to the end of the earth to hurt you back most people would i'm not gonna me i'm gonna do it because i'm toxic but you know but we're guys we're our opinions are subjective of course <laughs> uck, uck, uck. <laughs> if you say so man i mean doka identifies as a woman though, right right baby yo i never said that you yet. did you guys are on about yo anyways so what do you guys I think do you guys know. know what paternity fraud is 
No, enlighten me. You really Why sent you? Uh, Fake being pregnant, right? No. So, alright, bro, enlighten me, bro. So, paternity fraud, in a simplified f- terminology, is when a woman, in particular, lies about the father of her hu- her child. Oh, okay. And that person that is now placed with the I- with the fatherhood of the child now isn't the real father. So in other words, a woman is lying to her husband, boyfriend, or partner, saying that they are the daddy to the child and they know that they aren't. And there's a lot of cases of this. Like I was astounded how much this was happening, actually. So I but before I give you some examples, do you have any like opinions about what I just said? Like, no. I mean, I usually see that on like you know reality TV. You know, you see it on Jerry Springer or yeah. Maury or you know stuff like that. That's the only reason like I would know about that. What about uh, you, Doka? Same. Yeah, I was gonna say Jerry Springer and Maury. Right. Like he is not the father. Like, and then it goes further into depth. Yeah, I've seen it a lot on that too. But I, something I will bring up really quickly that was pointed out to me by another YouTube It's not going to be it's not going to be quick. Don't, it's, don't lie. it's literally just a sentence. It was that males in those situations are usually don't get sympathized by the audience as much as women do. Like, for example, I saw there's one example where a woman was found out that the baby that her baby wasn't her, you know didn't belong to her boyfriend and he was like oh, it's gg i'm done i'm leaving you fuck you and then everybody's like boo boo you suck you're a nigga boo and it's like nobody's gonna complain about how she cheated on a nigga like and then there's also even this you've seen the compilations of like guys doing backflips or start dancing when they find out that the baby isn't theirs and it's like why why is he getting booed it's not his child if anything I'd be relieved too. This person cheated on me. That's one they cheated on me. Two, I'm not the fucking kid, so I'm I'm not raising this child that's not mine. It's like it's stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. I think it's the concept of like you put that time and effort into someone and why would you give it up just for cheating? Uh excuse you've already me? been with them. Obviously to them, like the viewer, it's 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 a, just a minor Nah. It's a minor issue. That can't just be get it. over it. That can't they, be. It. The, the, I understand can't do it. I, I get it. I no, 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 like, no, okay. no, no. That can't be it, is what I'm saying. There's no way that's the truth. What do you mean? That cannot be the reason why people boo other people when they find out that they're not the dad. I don't know. I, I wanna I would love to have a like sit down with people from that show or like people that would like negatively agree with that shit. And I that I would love that shit. Oh my god, I hate the idea. And- in so my honest opinion, moms. I feel like that uh, those shows are like staged. I don't of know. Of course, honestly. those sets are staged, but it's uh, still like yeah. you can still see that sentiment carried out throughout society and social media. And another example I was gonna give you: a woman had a woman was chilling. It was the third birthday of her child, her daughter. Her partner came up to her and was ex- gave her a bag and told her, "I got you a gift." So. She went through the gift, was basically like mad excited going through the gift. She opened the papers and the papers basically was a DNA test showing that the child was not the man's. The man, the woman, instead of going, oh, how is this possible? Or anything like that, Seymour just said, why would you do this now? Or why would you do this today? And my instinct was, wow, so you knew that this wasn't his kid. And now it's like like what's up with you like that's i couldn't believe that like i was very upset seriously. like what do you guys think about that for her to first instinct to me like why would you do probably that? she'd probably say that because like it's you know maybe the kid's special day you know like why out all these days you do it right like right now yeah facts i would have agreed with like oh, today you could have used it you could have did it tomorrow <laughs> no, you today ready. like gonna... like bro what if that kid like like has memory from three years like their age of being three he's like yo my dad <laughs> he, he surprised like, my mom he, 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 he. <laughs> exactly uh so, i mean there's a little bit more to it. the woman wasn't i mean i can't really put it into words because i don't have the video right now because i don't remember exactly how it went but the best way to phrase it would be that she seemed to have had the knowledge that 
either it wasn't his kid or that it was likely that it wouldn't be his kid because no, of the way she yeah, reacted to it. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. That's where I'm like, all right, you see, you, you fucked up. Oh, no, no, of course, of course. It's clear as, as day that she fucked up, but it's like, bro, why can't you do it today? I'm not going <laughs> to like, hold you. To, to, to be honest, it's, I feel like that's a bit traumatizing towards the child. Obviously, the child is there the child on their wasn't birthday. In the room and when they the, found the, when the information was given to her, the child wasn't there. I, by the looks of it, the child was already asleep. Or, even even if so, but like the, the atmosphere the, idea, the next day is not yeah. going to be the same as yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's gonna, too, they're going to feel like it's their problem. Like they're the problem. He and that's going to stick with them forever. He was like, You got a month to get out of my crib and take your baby with you. But I, I mean, like, what would you guys do in that situation? What if you were lied to about the paternity of your child? How would you guys feel? I mean, I would want to know why. You know, that's it's not gonna make me stay. I don't. At least I don't think. Mm-hmm. Because it's like it feels like the woman would, or is trying to just get her way. You know, like oh, this guy who got me pregnant is a piece of shit. Oh, this next guy, you know, oh, he's somebody. You know, I guess yeah, I'll just be like yeah this is his kid not the other guys you know i feel like that's probably like uh one of the possibilities i'm not too yeah. sure right I, it's not for fudge that at least i think but... i've seen a lot of these situations because i've did a lot of research um and mm-hmm. a couple of the, the stories and testimonies i've seen from guys or you know women or whatever a lot of the time the woman the woman in this situation was cheating on the man because and then would stay with the man and pretend that the child that was, the child was his like one of the jerry springer shits that i saw that came up in my research the man was dating a woman who's kind of known for being a little on the whole side and you know they his family didn't believe that it was his kids because he went through a surgery that you know made him infertile so he was like you know well i've been with this woman for two years and a baby is like you know just got born recently there's no way that you know she would cheat on me it came out the baby wasn't his stuff like that is what i'm talking about there's another example where a man and his daughter did a ancestry test to see you know because they're african-american to see like where, where their bloodlines lead back to they could see where it was the dad's bloodline lead back to you know the caribbean the child's bloodline lead back led back mainly to like most of america like like slavery times and it's kind of so that they weren't related so they got a regular dna test done and it's so that they weren't related at all so he got a dna test done for his other two daughters and it's so that all three of them weren't his children and he's been married about for about mad them. long and that's what i'm talking about it's stuff like that so how would you feel like that it, in that uh, context it came out to be like that then it's like obviously you know I you, bro. Like, i'm not staying in that shit get the fuck out i guess i'd i'd probably be as generous as the other guy you know like maybe a month or so you have the time to organize your shit get out and that's it would you would you want would you still like keep the child around type shit how would you feel about the child though you know? do you still love this child because let's say you raised the child for three years like in the first example what would you do about that you know you know I'm not in that situation, but if I had to be, because you're forcing me against my will, Sanju. But you, you like know. that. <sighs> Let's not talk about last night. We're talking about it right now. Anyway, I don't think there's uh, there's any chance of me like being, I guess, involved in that kid's life. Because uh, I think it hurt me just as much as like it would hurt the kid. Right? Like let's say hypothetically they're 10 you know obviously way older whatever it's like all right sure i'm the only father figure she ever knew but it's like you know i have this constant reminder that like oh you know you're not you're not mine especially if you were conceived in this way you know being i was cheated on you know this and that so deuces (laughs) what about you doka (laughs) <laughs> nah, had it been me, uh, I'll get my shit together and uh, leave. Uh, and obviously, you know, 
obviously if you're gone the female is gonna wonder your, your partner's gonna wonder yo uh, where the fuck are you why why is all your shit gone why is... oh like if you found out it wouldn't even be like you wouldn't even confront them you just leave like it's just be i'll cheap. leave no i'll leave uh but again obviously confrontation is bound to happen they're going to they're going to have they're going to contact you you know uh i'll just send them the, the fucking test but like yeah it's not my kid i think you can put two and two together i'm just not going to be there anymore Yeah, I, yeah. personally, sad. I don't know. I, I, I think I'd be. I know how I am as a as a person. I'm extremely petty, extremely jealous, extremely really? toxic. Wow! Extreme, wow! Oh, wow! Extremely. Continue. Extremely all those things. I'd be pissed the fuck. I'm not gonna cat. The woman would definitely have to leave. For in terms yeah. of the child, I don't know how I'd feel about the child because I know I'm very sentimental. So I don't know. It, I'd have to be put in position. I feel like I might want to be in that child's life, especially if I helped raise that kid, thinking it was mine for at the minimum of three years in that situation. I'd be like, damn. I, I'd at least probably still look out for the kid, but I'd make sure like I'm not in any way involved in like child support or anything like that. Like I, I would hate to be like you know involved with that woman at all, at all. At all. No, you're already gonna be taking care of the kid. Eh? Might as well just no, you know, no, no, no. Pay the child support. You know? I'd I'd tell her she'd have to leave the crib, and if she had a problem with the child's thing, she could take the child as well. And I, as much as it may hurt or I may be upset, it it has to be one or the other. Like you, I couldn't live in a house of a person that not only knew that they cheated on me but lied to me about it and helped that made me raise a child that not only wasn't mine but that was conceived in such a such a way like don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with being conceived from a one night stand type shit you feel me it's the idea of being conceived that child being conceived out of your infant what's the word again i forgot what the word is is it infidelity I think it's infidelity. Your infidelity. There it is. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. Like, I'd be tight. Oh, fuck you, Anaj. Well, I, I, I'd fuck you. But th- th- to the guy. To that girl. I'm not a girl, though. I'm not. I'm not Doka. Sorry. I mean. Respect yeah. my boundaries. I mean, overall, let's agree. Fuck women. Am I right? <laughs> I'm right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. No. Fuck uh, women. <laughs> bring it back to that. <laughs> nah, let's fuck everybody. Honestly, uh, Sanju, so uh, you're gonna have a kid, right? And uh, I'm gonna tell you, it's not yours, man. You better stay in that child's life. No, Doka, you're doing the same. No, right? no. Why not? No, because you ain't said. Why would I keep your child? <laughs> I mean, honestly, why why would you listen to Richard? Honestly, exactly. Why would anybody listen to? <laughs> what Richard? does that mean? Because you suck. And you swallow, and Doka blows. Oh, you know? yeah. that's all you the time it. we have for I'll today. Yeah, uh, shut up! Shut up! It's, it's done. It's done. We're right, done here. Nine hour. We're done. Nine hour. Right. See ya. It's been two hours. I'm done. I'm tired. It's not been two hours. Yes, it has. No, it's been like <laughs> this podcast has been everywhere. As you know, I hope the fucking Doka movie night is better than this shit. You mean movie night with Doka? Shut up! All right, nobody cares about your cool idea. All right. Look, I have a trademark to like live up to. <laughs> Anyways, you have to I'm just letting you know. How about you guys <laughs> down? How about all you handsome and beautiful humans? Comment down below and give us your answer to any of the questions that we post tonight. Tell us how you felt about you know doka being a bitch and how you feel about helson being a beautiful king and tell me how much i'm a toxic piece of shit you know just anything any comments is cool we, we appreciate it all if you enjoyed the content make sure to like and subscribe if you're listening to it on spotify make sure you follow us so you can get the next update about when we upload the next video well podcast and uh yeah Same. ciao don't drown yeah there you go yeah i'm keeping it up this time you want to say anything Helson? it's better to sink in the cum than to come in the sink what yes. <laughs> see you folks <laughs>